north of Fort Lauderdale. So it's going to be beach jump of the day, hit some towel lines, and move on. But uh, I think it's my first uh, Game Boy cartridge I've ever dug. Hey, headed north. And I don't see it. It's like my first sound. I started three lifeguard stations ago. There are three other metal detectors on the same beach. Cleanest place ever. But I got a foreign coin. It's my first sound and a good one. On to the next. Okay, I got a 21 here, some sort of jewelry. Let's see what we got. It is. Hope Jovi Club, Greek Club, Trenchy, 1962. No clue what that means. So that was giving me a 2122. I was not expecting a car. Crazy. So this was coming up like a penny. And uh, it's hard to read out here, but I think it says it's a coin from Chile. I don't know. Maybe that's got like a little guy on there. It's kind of wore out. Okay, so right next to it, there's one in much better shape. And that definitely says uh, Republica de Chile. So, cool. Boom. Now that sounded weird. Got me an earbud though. Look at that. 1958 wheat penny. It looks like it's in brand new condition. It's got to be a fresh drop. All right, I think I got a chain or something here. It's coming up to 16. Oh yeah. Boom. That's nice. So the next question is it real? It's not striking me as like oh this is for sure gold. In fact, I think I see stuff peeling off here. Darn it. If only. That's a one. That's for sure. Not dull. All right, Coco Beach. First cool thing. What the heck is this? You guys know what that is? What is that? Says it's an official Pokemon pin. Oh boy. Check it out. Early, early in the morning at Cocoa Beach. And I, I just got a ring. I think it's silver. Isn't it beautiful? Small. Oh yeah, let me keep it. How pretty is that? Oh my God, I got a ring. <laughs> Look at that nice little bead. Wow. I think I'd be really surprised if that wasn't silver. That looks pretty good. A little bead like that though, I don't know if they'd even mark it. It would just be kind of marked on the whole thing. That's nice. Huh. All right, well, let's see if I can find a mark. Let you know. It's ringing up kind of high like silver. It's ringing up like a penny. Which as small as it is, that seems about right for silver. Okay, so my test solution for silver doesn't seem to work. It just never changes color no matter what. And I've tried all kinds of different stuff with it. 
but I did find this solution, which is you can use apparently 18K. And what happens is when you put it on silver, it will dissolve it. And then what forms is little teeny, I don't know if you can see that, they're kind of like milky blue, kind of pearly blue specks. And that's how you know it's silver. And try it on the other side. So the left is this bead. And it might be hard for you to see on the GoPro, but it looks like it passes. Looks the same as the right side. So I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be 925. Not marked. I gotta buy me a new test solution for silver for sure. So I just got this little baby ring. We just pulled over at some random beach. No sounds. I got a penny. We're like, let's leave. After uh, my way to the truck, I got this. I don't know. There's no mark. It rang up a 12. I feel like as thin as this is, it should ring up like eight if it was gold. So I think right now I'm gonna call it bling. I could wear it for you and tell you if it's fake or not. It's, look at this freaking jewelry pirate. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, now <laughs> for the truth. Because this little baby ring, 10 car gold. Oh my gosh. That's a pass. Dude, called it. I called it. Well, there's no mark. Probably because they couldn't fit it on there. All right, let's do the let's do the weigh-in, man. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's not. It's like a quarter gram. Oh, now it's weighing in a zero. Come on. Come on, it's got to weigh something. <laughs> I'm going to go with quarter gram. I just got to say, that's the smallest gold ring I've ever found. But gold is gold, baby.